will he be bold enough and courageous enough to say, hey, we know that there are elements amongst us who have these views. However, though, we need to ride above that. We need to actually go with the Canadian values of, you know, inclusion, diversity, respect. A group of Chinese Canadians say new Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole needs to back up his talk about inclusivity by taking action against former leadership rival Derek Sloan. Theresa Tam, uh, we sent an email out today asking, does she work for Canada? Or for China. Sloan made the remarks in April at a time when anti-Chinese racism was reaching a fever pitch with random attacks on Asian Canadians across the nation. Sloan accused the Hong Kong-born Tam of working for the Chinese Communist Party and sabotaging Canada's response to COVID-19. At the time, individual Conservative MPs condemned the remarks, but the party took no action. But Go says she wants to see O'Toole, who is preaching inclusion, to take firm action. He is sending these contradictory messages, right? So if a party leader can sending these contradictory messages to um, to Canadians, how can we trust him to continue to be the party leader as well as to be to aspire to be our prime minister? City News contacted Aaron O'Toole's office for comment, but he declined, saying he had already responded. In April, O'Toole said he would not impugn officials' motives without a clear justification. On Tuesday, he was asked about the future of leadership candidates in the party and underlined that he agreed with some of Sloan's campaign, but not all of it. Derek and I had some very stark differences. We had some areas of, of overlap with our concern uh, about uh, the Communist Party of China and some issues. I didn't agree with some of the ways he characterized those concerns. But certainly within a pandemic, with, within, uh, within the race we were in, um, a lot of things are said. We're united now. We're going to talk together as a, as a caucus soon. Now, Sloan can't be removed from the caucus without a vote from the party membership, who seemingly rejected that option when they met earlier this year. But O'Toole could still take a stand by refusing to sign Sloan's nomination papers, forcing him to find a new party for the next federal election. In Ottawa, Shao Lee Lee, City News.